my name is Special Superhero, and today I'll be helping you better understand Wu Chen. Now, Wu Chen is the type of character that will be filling the support slash utility role right beside Kurumi. However, instead of granting heals for a team, he'll be able to move his team in and out of combat while also granting them a buff. He can also do this to enemies while granting them a debuff. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about these skills. Wu Chen's base skill is called Spirit Blades, which allows him to summon 5 blades around him. These blades can be shot individually at his opponent, dealing a small amount of damage, or he can charge this attack by shooting all of them at once, granting a little bit more damage. A fun fact to keep in mind is that these blades do track to the nearest target regardless if shot individually or charged, and also grant a small hit stun on contact. The second variation is Spirit Blades Array. This variation allows the Spirit Blades to be shot automatically when an enemy is nearby, but they do lose the ability to be shot manually in this variation, and they are shot at 3 second intervals. However, if a blade misses the opponent, a new blade will appear, replacing the one that missed. Lastly, the third variation, Spirit Blade Shield, will summon three blades that can be shot at the ground creating a barrier that can block projectiles. This can be shot individually or charged. When it's charged, however, it will grant you a wider barrier. One thing to keep in mind is that every time a shield is dropped, it does do something called Spirit Blades Blast, which grants your allies 200 armor. So it's a very good support ability. However, it does take a little bit to get used to because it is something that is kind of unique to his character. Now, one thing to keep in mind with all of these skills is that he does have something called Astro Aegis, which basically will consume all spirit blades to hold off damage towards health. Basically meaning armor will not be affected by this, it's only health. So if you don't have armor and you get hit and you have all spirit blades available, you'll basically take less damage, which could save your life. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, Wu Chen's base ultimate, Tai Chi Rift, allows him to drop a Yin Yang Orb within 50 meters. Then he can teleport to that Yin Yang Orb up to 120 meters, and this can be used while under attack. Upon teleporting, if your teammate has at least 80% health, they will be granted a 30 second attack buff. However, if it's below 80%, they'll gain a 30 second damage reduction buff. This ability can be used on players awaiting death, so this could be used to save a teammate or teammates, or for a possible strategic advantage, so keep that in mind. Now when it comes to the second variation, Tai Chi Rift Switch, it'll allow you to drop a Yin Yang Orb within 50 meters, allowing you to switch locations with that orb. If an enemy is in the vicinity of that orb's AoE when teleporting, the enemy will be in your previous location, with the debuff known as Vulnerable, leaving them with extra damage taken for 25% for 15 seconds. And this ability cannot be used while under attack. And last but not least, the third variation, Tai Chi Rift Portal, allows you to drop a Yin Yang Orb within 50 meters while also creating a portal in front of you. This portal can be used by you and your allies to teleport to the other side. Now, you can also use ranged weapons with the portal, allowing them to travel to the other side. One thing to keep in mind though, is that this portal specifically can be destroyed. Overall, Wu Chen can be used in a variety of ways, however, he's best used strategically with team coordination. And on top of that, when his skills are used preemptively, it'll allow your team to become the escape artist in third-party situations, or it will allow your team to become more prepared for any situation that can turn negative. So far, the abilities I would recommend would be his F1 Spirit Blades, to manually have control over the blades. However, if you'd rather shoot them automatically so you can pay attention more to combat, you can go ahead and use his F2, which is Spirit blades array however when it comes to his ultimate i feel that his v1 or his ultimate one is best suited for saving the team in a big fight granting attack buffs or damage reduction buffs depending on the scenario however it can also save teammates awaiting death which can increase team survivability however that's all the time we have for today so hopefully i was able to help you better understand wu chen's potential in naraka blade point and i'll see you guys on the battlefield later